so hi guys uh, in this video we are going to talk about the min hashing technique uh, which is used to find the signature matrix for a given characteristic matrix so i am not going to go too deep in the theory of this topic but i will just tell you the basic algorithm which i have used uh, to uh, code the min hashing technique to generate a signature matrix in general term min hashing is a technique uh, for quickly estimating how similar two sets are so let's take an example and understand the algorithm so this is our characteristic matrix and uh, as you can see here are four sets s1 s2 s3 and s4 and there are five elements a b c d and e so as you can see that uh, uh, in the s1 column uh, we have uh, one element for element a and d it means that s1 contains a and d and uh, for s2 S2 contains C and S3 contains B, D, E and uh, S4 has A, C, D. So I hope uh, this characteristic matrix is all clear to you and uh, we are going to use two hash functions. So first one is X plus 1 mod 5 and second one is 3X plus 1 mod 5 and uh, the X denotes the row number. And uh, in this table as you can see that uh, we have our characteristic matrix here. This is our characteristic matrix as it was given above and these are 5 rows 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, which are the values of x and uh, this is the value of hash functions uh, which we calculated by putting the value of x for a given row. In beginning uh, we take every element of signature matrix as infinity. This is the algorithm that you have to follow. So we take ele every element as infinity then then as we proceed we proceed uh, row by row it means that we will first take the zero row then one then two then three then four so first we take the first row that is zero so in zero row if we check then s1 and s4 has the value one we will take only those columns which have the value one so as we can see here that s1 and s4 has one so we will come to our signature matrix and we will only make changes in the S1 and S4 column. We will leave the S2 and S3 as they are. Okay, so in S1, we first fill uh, the H1. So since H1 is infinity, which is the maximum value that we can assign to this element. And if we see in the first row that H1 is one, if the value of H1 in that row is less than the value of the element, Okay, I will repeat once again, if the value of the hash function in that particular row which is less than the element of that uh, hash function is signature matrix, then we replace the values. As we can see here that infinity is obviously greater than 1, so we will just replace infinity by 1. And for S2, as we can see that S2 value is also 1, so we will and infinity is greater than 1. So we will replace it by 1. In S4, if we go, then again, infinity is greater than 1. So we replace by 1. And infinity is also greater than 1. Then, by, then we replace it by 1. Then we go to the next row. And in next row, uh, we have only S3 as 1. The element of S3 is only 1. Other elements are 0, as you can see. So we will make ch changes only in the S3 column. So for S3, if we check for H1 in the second row, then H1 is 2 and 2 is less than infinity, so we replace. For S2, 4 is less than infinity, so we replace. Similarly, we go to the row 2. Then we see that uh, uh, only S2 and S4 are needed to be manipulated. So we go to S2 column and uh, as we can see in row 3, H1 is 3, which is less than infinity, so we replace. We go to h2 2 is less than infinity so we replace okay then we have to go to s4 and make changes as we go to s4 we see that that s4 value is already 1 but here h1 value is 3 which is greater than 1 so we are not going to replace it is going to be the same as before and again when we go to h2 then h2 is 2 which is greater than 1 so we are not going to replace it then we go to the fourth row and we have to make changes in the S1, S3, and S4 column. Okay. 
so we first make changes in the s1 column we go to f1 and we see that uh, we have 4 here which is greater than 1 so we are not going to replace when we go to s2 then we see that 0 which is less than 1 so we are going to replace then we go to s3 and in s3 again 4 is greater than 2 so we are not going to replace okay and uh, when we go to s2 then 0 is less than 4 so we are going to replace it again we go to s4 column because it is 1 so we have to make changes in this column so again 4 is greater than 1 so we are not going to make any changes and then we go to s2 and s2 we have 0 which is less than 1 so again we are going to replace this then the last row that is 4 so we see that uh, we have to make changes only in the s3 column so when we go to s3 we have 2 and 0 since 0 is less than 2 so we are going to replace it and when we go to s2 we have 3 here and 0 here 3 is greater than 0 so we are not going to replace so this is our final output which is final signature matrix that we have to generate and uh, you can take uh, as many uh, hash functions you want but i have taken and only two hash functions for the sake of simplicity so that example is uh, small and you can understand it more better if you want then you can add more uh, hash functions below it and the matrix will uh, keep proceeding as you take the hash function so i hope that uh, this algorithm and uh, this uh, whole theory part is uh, clear to you uh, so let's move on to our uh, code now so here we have taken uh, four hash functions okay uh, here we have taken four hash functions if you want we can uh, compute the same out uh, same same example uh, but uh, here I have taken four hash functions and uh, in the main function uh, first I have to input number of rows then number of columns and then I have given a matrix uh, which will save the values of our characteristic matrix and I have named it org that is original matrix so here I am uh, taking the input of the characteristic matrix by the user and uh, then I have uh, made a variable for signature matrix which will uh, gonna uh, save our result and uh, we are going, going to uh, initialize all the elements of signature matrix by infinity and by infinity here i mean int max since we are using int a data type so we are going to assign int max to every element of the signature matrix after that uh, i have made a hash variable which is going to store all the hash values like h1 for h1 it is going to store these values for h2 this is going to store these values so and after that this is the or algorithm part this whole code first we are traversing every element of the characteristic matrix so this is the, the we are using two loops and uh, i think you know very well how to traverse a 2d matrix so this is simple and when we go inside it we check if the element is equal equals to one if the element in the original matrix is equal equals to one then we have to change the corresponding values according to the hash functions okay. and if the value in the signature matrix in that uh, for that particular element signature matrix if that is greater than the hash function hash value as i explained it earlier if we have a value here greater than the value here then we will replace otherwise we are not going to replace so if we have a value in signature matrix which is greater than the value in hash function then we are going to just replace it and just like that we are going to make our signature matrix and we are finally going to print it on the screen so let's uh, try to run this code and see if it's working correctly or not uh, so i will just open a new terminal and i will run the code pcc sigmat.tpp oh, sorry I use the wrong command g plus plus segment dot tp okay uh, so we have to input number of rows so we are going to uh, use the same characteristic matrix as we are given here okay uh, so let's get number of rows are 5 number of columns are 4 enter row 1 row 1 is 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 and 
zero zero one zero then zero one zero one then one zero one one zero zero one zero okay and just like that we get our finishing metric if you think that uh, this if you want to confirm the output you can calculate it manually but i'm sure we are gonna get get the same output so i hope you understood the whole video whole concept of min hashing and uh, how i have implemented the code and how the algorithm works so that's all in this video thanks for watching